Oh, what a glorious day it's been. I'm still painstakingly gorgeous and I'm back, dears. <laughs> Darlings, did you miss me? <laughs> Welcome back. Oh. We've missed you so much, honestly. I have to say, it's really great to see you without glasses. Don't. On. You dare. Sorry. I feel rather naked without my glasses, actually, now that you've reminded me. Don't. My glasses are an extension of me. And honestly, without it, I feel like an amputee. <sighs> but I digress. So, it's been a while since we last saw you. What have you been up to? Yes, it has been a while, hasn't it? Well, aside from being unforgivably stunning. Um, I actually had a lovely, lovely dinner with the Queen at Buckingham Palace before she passed, God rest her soul. I don't know why the Great Ones always go so soon. But actually, I also have been in talks with Jeff Bezos and, and, and Elon Musk about space travel. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Um, Jeff actually said that uh, he'll give me a ride on his Blue Origin next month. Really? Yes, yes. So soon. So, um, so you'll be going in June? Yes, yeah, so just a month sort of after that. Oh, okay, July. No, a little bit of... August? It's... So not next month. We're in talks, dear, we're in talks, okay? Nothing, there's no, 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 no specific date as of yet, but uh, when I go, you will know. But aside from my gloriousness, and yes, you may have noticed my change of outfit. Yes, darling, I've been shopping. No, I will not tell you where. No, I'm gatekeeping, dear. Very much gatekeeping. I actually haven't been out that much. Although I do fear that there is something you may find rather interesting. <laughs> oh. I've been dog sitting. He's so sweet. Yes, darling. Yes, I've been dog sitting this absolute dear toy poodle, is what they call him. What's his name? His name's Milo. Aww. Yes. Goodness, I don't know who in their right mind would call a puppy Milo. It's ridiculous. So pedestrian. So single minded. So amateur. I mean, the only Milo I know is the wonderful Caribbean chocolate drink. So you are from the Caribbean? No, darling, I'm a citizen of the world. Oh. It's friends of mine. I see. He's struggling a little bit, but he, we are friends, I promise you. Aren't we, darling? Aren't we, Milo? If it was up to me, I think I would call him, you know, something with a bit more gusto, like um, Maximilius or, you know, Gunther, you know? Or Fitzgerald Pinterminster, the second. Fitzgerald Pinter into the second, come here right away. Has a ring to it, yes. They actually say those six, seven syllable names really do, really does have a ring to it. But I guess for the time being, we can go with Milo. Little bugger doesn't answer to his name anyway. Why do they even have names if they're just going to look at you and turn the other way? Honestly, so incredibly rude. Reminds me of me. <laughs> Let me fix my scarf, darling. Really does nothing for the look when it's coming off. Like a different person who'd hardly recognize me. Darling, are you comfortable? Darling, it's not fidgety. Not a good look. His camera shy. So, has it been difficult taking Milo on public transport? Like the bus or the train? Bus? Train? Sorry, darling, I, 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 I don't believe I know those words. I'm searching in my mind for something that may be referring to, but I'm drawing blanks. I'm drawing blanks, dear. No, darling, Jeffrey, my chauffeur. Right. Happens to be very fond of Milo as it goes, yes. They're actually really good friends. Is he sleeping? Canines are so far better than humans, I have to say. He's going to sleep now, so I'm going to let him sleep. Anyway, Jeffrey loves him. Mind you, I'm supposed to be travelling to Monaco at the weekend, so I don't even know how I am going to take little fur baby with me. Some of these airlines can be a right nuisance. I thought you had a private jet. Of course I have a private jet. Of course I have a private jet. Don't be so ridiculous. Don't be so ridiculous, darling. The only reason we're not flying with the jet is because there was issues with airspace, darling. The aerodynamics and the sophistication about the identity that came down to the arrows when the aeroplane opened up in the space of the, you know, 
and everything else that happened around that. That's the reason we can't fly. Darling, don't ask questions above your pay grade. Okay? It's very pseudo-intellectual. Darling, look it up. Look it up. Okay, well, let's just get right back to the interview then. So, what is this? Um, I this is your idea. Yes. What is it? Well, actually, my grandmother got it for me. Um, back in World War Two, she... Do you not like it? No, glorious. Really, really nice. Um, yes. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, all right, darling. You would like to go on the floor? Now be my guest. Go on, dear. Okay. What's your favourite activity to do with Milo? Well, something I once rather enjoyed has now become a little bit of a bane of my existence, actually. You know, I love nature, I love going for walks, but apparently, when you're walking with a puppy, any Benjamin, Harry, Sarah, Jane, and Zephaniah want to have a conversation, and honestly, I haven't got any time for it. Mother, please stop biting at my dress. Love you, dearest, but please. We have absolutely no interest in this conversation. We do not wish to be interrogated. We are just here minding our own businesses, and you would do well to do the same. Would it kill you to mind your own business? Hmm? Give it a try. Give it a try. Okay, well, I have to ask the dreaded question. What's it been like picking up the doggy do? I don't, darling. Please don't be so crude. Milo, actually, as a matter of fact, has his very own lavatory, darling. Yes, in which he uses and flushes himself, dear, so there is no reason to be picking up any do's. Please, he has etiquette, darling. He has etiquette. Please, he, he, he's been raised well. He's been raised... Milo, darling, not on the couch. Thank you, dear. As I was saying, he's been raised well. And he, no matter, please, darling. Does this mean you'll be getting a dog of your own? No, 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 dear. With all due respect, I appreciate the fact that I'm able to give him back at the end of the day. You know, he's a darling. He truly is. But um, the giving back is, is a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing. That being said, I would take a canine over a homo sapien any day of the week. Let me tell you that. Dogs, puppies, they're just so loyal. You know, they don't go behind your back and sleep with your husband and blame it on another friend and look you dead in the eye and tell you it wasn't there, making you go crazy, you know, questioning your own judgment, just asking yourself, is it me, is it me? When it absolutely never was you, it was always her, but she was just lying about it, lying through her awful teeth. <laughs> um, did that happen to you? Of course not, darling. It just seemed to touch a nerve. I was just saying dogs aren't like that. Right. And that's why I love them. Are we done here? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Um, give us some final thoughts. Well, live your life to the fullest. Have no regrets and be a little bit more like me. Grab yourself a fur, baby. <laughs> and continue to be painstakingly fabulous. Say goodbye, Milo. Such a treat you are. Aren't you such a treat? Almost sedated. Yes, I may have woken him up from asleep to video this, but we're not going to get into that, are we, my own no. Best friend. He's over me now. Okay, darling, on your way. All right, I'm not going to... Oh, goodness, he's gone. All right.